pensioners are set to be £237.40 a year worse off despite Rishi Sunak's efforts to ease the energy crisis, new analysis shows. The Chancellor has been accused of leaving the elderly out in the cold after breaking the Conservatives' triple lock pension pledge last year. New measures announced by the Treasury to help households in the coming months following a 52% hike in the energy price cap are unlikely to make up for the less-than-expected increase in pension payments. Energy bills are expected to rise to nearly £2,000 a year from April. Last week Mr Sunak outlined a £150 council tax rebate to help those most in need and a £200 energy bill discount to be paid back over the next five years. But with state pensions only rising by 3.1%, the rate of inflation in September, rather than the 7.25% rate the Bank of England is forecasting for April, recipients are set to be considerably worse off. Analysis by the Liberal Democrats suggests those on the basic state pension will be left £149 poorer in real terms, while those on the new state pension will be left £237.40 worse off. The party's work and pensions spokeswoman, Wendy Chamberlain MP, told Express.co.uk, in breaking their manifesto promise and failing to protect the state pension, especially for poorer pensioners, the Conservatives have plunged older people into the depths of a cost-of-living crisis. Their paltry support doesn't even begin to drag them out of it, failing to cover what millions have had to endure over a cold and bitter winter. Pensioners are among the most vulnerable people in our society. This out-of-touch government has left them out in the cold, with a hole in their pocket and even harsher days ahead. Rishi Sunak's energy debt package fails to recognize this and offers little consolation. Last week the Chancellor said his plan would take the sting out of energy price hikes. Without government intervention the increase in the price cap would leave the average household having to find an extra £693. The actions I'm announcing today will provide to the vast majority of households just over half of that amount, £350, the Richmond MP told the Commons. In total the government is going to help around 28 million households this year. Taken together this is a plan to help with the cost of living worth around £9 billion.